Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to be talking about which is faster, Wi-Fi or Ethernet? It's quite a common question, uh, we're going to just clear it up here and now. So, first of all what I'm going to talk about is the sort of speeds of Wi-Fi, uh, the different bandwidths and what they're capable of. I'm then going to go into Ethernet cables, the different types and what they're capable of. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the practicalities of the two. Uh, and then finally I'm just going to sort of give a final verdict on, on what you should use those two cables for. So let's get straight into it. So Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi works on uh, two bands of frequencies. So you've probably heard about this, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz frequencies. Okay, so the difference between those two is basically 2.4 gigahertz is very good at traveling distance, getting through things, um, but it can't take as much data. 5 gigahertz, not so good at getting through things, can't travel as far, but much better at carrying data. So 2.4 gigahertz will do up to 450 megabits per second. So these are theoretical speeds. All of the speeds I'm talking about in this is theoretical speeds. Okay, so it can do up to 450 megabits per second. 5 gigahertz, so the one that can't go as far but takes more or gives more, could do 1300 megabits per second. So you can see that straight away there's quite a difference between those two things, uh, two uh, frequencies. Uh, they both have the uses 2.4 can get further, can't take as much data. 5 can't get as far but takes more data. So that's Wi Fi. That's the current standard of Wi-Fi. There is a new standard of Wi-Fi coming out. So the standard at the moment is 802.11ac. Uh, the new standard, 802.11x, can potentially, it's gonna add a whole new dimension to this, uh, where you could get speeds of up to sort of 4.5 gigs, I think it is. Uh, but we're, we're not gonna go into that yet because it's not out, it's not a standard. Um, it doesn't really apply yet. So, Ethernet. What is Ethernet cable of? So there's sort of four uh, cables, um, really, um, the difference in speed is basically uh, either, so the Cat5e standard, so that is uh, the sort of older cable, it's the one that's sort of most probably commonly used still, uh, it sort of comes with devices when you get an Ethernet cable that's quite often Cat5e, um, and that cable is capable of speeds of up to a thousand megabits per second. So compare that to the Wi-Fi, on the 5 gigahertz channel it was 1300 megabits per second, on the Ethernet it's a uh, thousand uh, megabits per second. So you can see that actually, theoretically, the Wi-Fi is faster. Okay, CAT6, that's the sort of pretty much the standard now, that's what's installed in most places. Uh, if I'm doing installation most of the time it will be CAT6 or potentially CAT6A or CAT7, but CAT6. So CAT6 is capable of speeds of up to 10,000 megabits per second, so it's 10 times faster than CAT, uh, CAT5e. cat um, The speeds that it's capable of are, are up to 55 meters. Cat6a and Cat7 increase that, so they uh, they have 10,000 megabits per second, so the same speed, but the distance that it can travel is further, so up to 100 meters. So that's the difference between the uh, sort of Ethernet cables. So basically, we're looking at Cat5e, 1,000 megabits per second. The others, 10,000 megabits per second. So obviously, Cat6a, uh, Cat6 and the the others are significantly faster than Wi-Fi. Okay. Right. So. The practicalities of it all. So what's the difference between Wi-Fi and Ethernet in terms of uh, you know how you use them? So Wi-Fi is basically really versatile, uh, very flexible. Um, you can you can just have your device and you can just walk around and use it wherever wherever you want. However, there are so many factors that can impact Wi-Fi. Everything from um, you know solid objects such as walls, you can have mirrors, you can have anything, anything can basically interfere with Wi-Fi. Anything that gets in the way of that signal is potentially going to have an impact. Um, there's also, um, because of the way that Wi-Fi works, there's only, so especially on the 2.4 gigahertz channel, uh, band, sorry, frequency, there's only so many channels, so only so many frequencies you can use. If you live in an area where there's lots of uh, lots of people broadcasting Wi-Fi, um, then quite often you can find that people are on similar or the same channel as you. And the problem that that has is that then those those signals interfere. They basically start, like, start bouncing off each other, causing mayhem. So you can find that Wi-Fi can become really unreliable, um, and you might not even realise why. I'll do a video on, on how to sort of resolve some issues later on, but at the moment that's one of the issues with Wi-Fi. So very flexible, um, potentially possible uh, to get speeds of up to 1300 megabits if you're very close to the source, um, but you know, has its, has its problems in terms of interference, etc. 
Then you've got ethernet cables. So ethernet cables are brilliant because they basically rely, they give you a solid line from your um, source to your device. And that, that line is gonna be uninterrupted unless you have something like a big electrical uh, sort of interference or you get someone physically cuts the line or something like that. You're pretty much guaranteed that that connection is gonna be there. It's not gonna drop out. It's not gonna like, uh, you know, get stopped by a mirror or something like that or someone else using uh, another ethernet cable in another room. It's not gonna impact your ethernet. So it's a very reliable connection. Obviously also we talked about the speeds. Those speeds are pretty high so, um, you know, your 10 gigabits per second or your 10,000 megabits per second, that is, you know, well beyond the capabilities of most devices at the moment. Um, so you're not even going to get close to that. And certainly the internet speeds that most people are getting are nowhere near that at the moment. So, um, so there's a lot of capacity there in the Cat6. It's not working at full capacity. You've also got um, to think about with Ethernet though, is the practicality of that, like how does it actually connect? So you've got to physically get a cable into that device. So for example, like if you're in a sort of, you can't wander around with an Ethernet connected to your phone, it's not very practical. Um, a lot of devices such as phones or tablets or whatever, um, they don't have Ethernet ports, so obviously it's not, you can't use those. Um, so in that case, Ethernet's not very practical. Um, my advice would be basically, obviously we've discussed Ethernet is faster, my advice would be that connect everything you can to Ethernet. If it's practical to connect it to Ethernet, then connect it to Ethernet. If it's not, then you know use the Wi-Fi. Not only will you have a reliable connection, the other thing you do is if you connect some of your high demand devices, such as 4K televisions, games, consoles, etc., then basically what you're doing is you're also taking some of the load off that Wi-Fi, off your Wi-Fi network. So if there's lots of high demand devices competing to, for, uh, to talk to your router, it can slow your router down. Um, if you take one of those loads off, then all the rest of the devices have much more sort of, um, they're much more able, uh, able to talk to your router and you don't get as much sort of slowing down of your general Wi-Fi. So that would be my advice. Connect everything you can via Ethernet. Everything you can't, just continue to use the Wi-Fi. If you're finding that you're getting a lot of problems with interference, you can turn off the 2.4 gigahertz channel. I'm not gonna get too much into that now, but I'll do another video on that another time. Okay guys, so that's it. Ethernet's faster, Ethernet's better. Wi-Fi, more flexible, not as fast, but still, you know, fantastic. Definitely use a combination of the two. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you did, please like. Um, and share it. Subscribe to my channel, uh, plenty more videos to come. Thanks very much. Bye.